Hello and welcome to the Cyber One YouTube channel. In this video, part five of Fred's new stand, we're going to look at adding some uh, power supply and a PCA9685 to Fred's back uh, to drive servos that are located in the shoulders. That's four of those. And I may transfer the neck roll and a neck pitch servos which are located in the back onto that driver as well so a total of six servos um, this is a switch mode power supply uh, those who have been following the Fred's head series through will know that I intend on running him on much higher voltage supply than the normal 6 volt uh, I'll be running him closer to 20 volt uh, I'm planning on using 4 amp hour 20 volt lithium ion batteries to power Fred in the future. So we need to drop that voltage down and supply the current we need to run the servos at the same time. Because the servos we're running in the back uh, and shoulders are so much bigger, we need a bigger power supply. So this one's rated at 20 amps. Uh, that's both the input and output, so whichever is the highest is the one that limits the power rating on it. And this will allow us to drop from as high as 30 volts down to the 6 volts we need for the servos. So let's get started.
Okay, so now that I've got his back together, one of the things I forgot to show in the video was the addressing on these PCA9685. Uh, servo drivers. Uh, now, if that camera will actually come into focus. There we go. So, over here, we have a series of addressing pins. Oh, yeah places where we can loop. Now these allow you to have more than one of these connected to the I2C bus at any given time. On the one that I've installed in the back I have previously jumped at the A0 on it. That sets it up one address point above the one that's in the head which is set at the default setting. When we put one in the arm, we'll have to set the A1 jumper and then the other arm will have both A1 and A0 jumper connected. And that sets the addressing for each one of these. So in the next video, we'll reinstall the chest and we are going to install these two ultrasonic sensors since they've now turned up so that's a bag though it's so I've got two of these one for each side and We've also got this for the center of the chest. A uh, passive infrared detector. If you are enjoying these videos and would like to see the next one, don't forget to click on subscribe, click on the like button, ring that notification bell. Uh, I've now got a Discord server running, uh, so we'll start to see a few people in there exchanging ideas uh, and I have got another video coming up of a laser cutter in uh, unboxing so stay tuned to see that one as well and we'll see you in the next video